What's up boys, it's Jose Zaniga from Teaching Men's Fashion and for today's video I want to go over five trousers, five different pants styles that I believe should be in every man's closet. Keep in mind we're going for a well-rounded closet that you can do almost any style and always look trendy and stylish. So today we're going to go over the five top trousers that get the most used out of my personal closet and that I think every guy should own. Let's start with dressy trousers some nice wool trousers definitely i think should be in every grown man's closet and preferably my favorite ones are the ones without belt loops i've said it before when i wear trousers not chinos not jeans but trousers i think they look best when you're not wearing a belt wool trousers just flow they're breathable they're not constricting they don't feel tight but whatever the case is i think the main point is in my opinion go without belt loops and opt for side adjusters and makes the pants look way more elegant and it also gives you the opportunity to rock suspenders when you go the full dapper look which it makes you look like a boss. Now these particular suspenders are from KK and J and if you guys want to check them out they're going to be linked down below. The second pair of pants that I think every man should have are athletic joggers. Now these particular joggers are some of my favorite. Not only do they fit tight but they also have a reflective material on it which makes it great for their functional use of you when you're working out. If you're going out for a jog these are great for that. But on top of that given their nice and trim fit it also makes it a great casual alternative for when you're going to school, when you're running errands or when you just want to feel comfortable. You don't want to bother with the idea of having to wear stuffy jeans that day. A pair of athletic joggers is always a good fallback. Number three are dark wash jeans. I mean do I really need to tell you why you need to have these in your closet? I think this is just a pair that will benefit almost any guy out there from the iconic t-shirt and sneaker look to a fully dressed up business casual look. The combinations that you can use dark denim for they're endless. And yes you can wear a dress shirt tucked in with your denim. I know so many men avoid this and for years I had before because jeans tend to sit on your waist lower. So when you end up tucking in a shirt what happens is that shirt ends up becoming untucked throughout the day because your jeans sit lower than a regular pair of trousers. But I, I figured out a secret. Every time I'm going for the business casual look and I want to tuck in my shirt just use shirt tail garters. These shirt stays from KK and J are by far the best secret weapon you can have in your closet. It is the number one way to keep your shirt tucked in and remain tucked all day. Basically how these shirts stays from KK and J work is all you do is attach your shirt to these fabric strands essentially and then you run that strand all the way down to your sock and attach it to your sock. Hence why it works so effectively. That shirt is literally anchored in and no matter how much you move and twist throughout the day that shirt is going to remain tucked and making you look crisp all day. So the next time you're debating of whether tucking in your shirt just because you fear it's going to be coming untucked all day and it's going to be bothering you, you have the secret weapon. Shirt stays. This is something that you should use honestly every time you're wearing a tucked in shirt just to make sure you look this sharp. These from KK and J are by far some of the best in the industry. Not only are they super affordable but they're made in the USA with really high quality materials. You can even tell in the metal finishes that it uses. It's very high quality stuff that you can use probably for the rest of your life. If you guys want to sh check out these shirt stays from KK and J going to have them linked below. I'm also going to have the suspenders linked down below as well because if you're the guy that has the trousers and wants to pull out those boss looks when you're going fully dapper, you're going to want a pair of suspenders to rock. So I'm going to have those linked down below as well so you guys can check them out. The fourth pair of pants that I think every guy should have is a pair of chinos. I think this is another classic that should be in every man's wardrobe and if you get them tailored right this is something that you can wear with sneakers you can wear with loafers you can wear with chuck -a boots with dress shoes really again with these pants the possibilities are endless and when it comes to summer it is by far one of the best natural fabrics you can wear then that cotton is so breathable that it's going to make sure you stay cool throughout the day while being one of the best dressed guys anywhere. Most guys still to this day don't know how to rock chinos properly or know how to style them and take them to their full extent. And finally number five I told you I was gonna do a little bit of everything ripped jeans. I have to cover my trendy crowd as well and I can't honestly say that you'll have a well-rounded wardrobe without having one pair of trendy 
the stress pants. Love them or hate them, you can't deny how popular and in style the stress jeans are. And before you completely dismiss them, a little distressing can actually look good and rugged that will help you build that well-rounded wardrobe that you can dress super dapper and super trendy and look good in any type of scenario. Truly, I think that's what a real stylish man is. Somebody that can dress in any type of scenario and look great in that aesthetic. All right, boys, so that's it for this week's video. Those are five pairs of pants that I believe every man should have in their closet. If you guys like this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, kk and I'm going to have their suspenders and their shirt stays linked down below. So that's it for me in this week's video. See you next time.